Recently, I've created myself a big setback in my Caddy camper van conversion process. After finishing my kitchen setup, I got the ingenious idea of weighing my van for the first time since I started converting it, which I should have done much earlier as weight is so crucial on van conversions. I nearly hit the 2 ton mark with only the kitchen installed. The Caddy is allowed to have a total mass of around 2300 kilos. It is possible to turn that number up by installing different springs etc, which I will do in the future, but still, if I would have finished the conversion how I started it, there would have been way too less room concerning the maximum weight for additions like a rooftop tent, loading bikes and so on. The main problem was the wood. I've used 15mm beach multiplex wood, which is incredibly strong but freaking heavy. Whether I liked it or not, I decided to redo pretty much everything, using lighter wood and of course fixing stuff I wasn't totally happy with in the first place. To create a bit more headroom, I only used 20mm slats and 10mm armor flex this time. Also added some alobutyl for sound damping. For wood, I went for 13mm lumber core plywood. It's not as strong as beach multiplex, but still decent enough. And most important, it's only about half the weight of the multiplex. This time I fixed the base plate to the original threads of the rear seats and the tie down hooks, additionally to screwing it into the slats. I changed the PVC flooring for a grey one, as the brown one was a bit too much concerning all the wooden plank themed interior panels. All the edges got aluminum profiles now, because the plastic ones got a ton of ugly marks very quickly. The wobbly magnet lid for the underfloor storage had to give room for one with soft close hinges. Last time I was too lazy to think of a clean solution to mount the single rear seat if needed. Meanwhile I also applied carpet lining to all the blank metal parts. Except for the doors, as I don't like the look of them once they are opened and only halfway covered in the carpet lining. The kitchen still got the electronic compartment behind the driver's seat. But it has two soft close drawers now. And a much easier access compartment for the water system. This time I sealed the flooring in case of a leak on one of the canisters. The space behind the canisters got used for two additional storage compartments now. So in the name of weight savings, I will continue my conversion. See you then, cheers. <laughs>